Howdy, folks. Welcome to a journey through the dust and dreams of the Old West. Today, we're saddling up for a, then and now, adventure, revisiting the legendary TV series that took us on a cross-country odyssey, Wagon Train. The television series, Wagon Train. Wagon Train, was an American Western series that aired from 1957 to 1965. Created by Frank McGrath. The show followed the adventures of a wagon train as it made its way from St. Joseph, Missouri, to California during the post-Civil War era. The series depicted the challenges faced by the pioneers as they journeyed across the American frontier. The central characters included the wagon master, played by Ward Bond in the earlier seasons and later by John McIntyre, and the scout, portrayed by Robert Horton in the early seasons and later by Robert Fuller. The ensemble cast featured a rotating group of characters who joined the wagon train for various reasons, creating a dynamic and diverse narrative. Ward Bond. Major Seth Adams. On April 9, 1903, in Benkelman, Nebraska, the world welcomed a man destined for greatness. Ward Bond, the sturdy pillar of wagon train, entered the hearts of viewers as Major Seth Adams. Guiding the wagon train through trials and triumphs, Bond became the face of leadership on the small screen. Regrettably, on November 5, 1960, at the age of 57, the world lost Ward Bond. His legacy, however, continued to resonate through the timeless tales of the Old West. Career and most successful roles. Before the wagon wheels rolled across the plains, Bond's Hollywood journey began with roles in classic films like The Grapes of Wrath and Gone with the Wind. Yet, it was his portrayal of Major Adams that etched his name into television history. Bond's commanding presence and authenticity endeared him to audiences, making Major Adams an iconic character. Beyond, Wagon Train, Bond's prolific career spanned over two decades, earning him a reputation as one of Hollywood's most versatile character actors. His collaborations with director John Ford, including roles in numerous westerns, left an indelible mark on the industry. Most prestigious awards. Ward Bond's contributions to film and television earned him respect but major awards remained elusive. His true accolades lay in the admiration of fans and the enduring legacy he left in the annals of entertainment history. Reason for death. On November 5, 1960, Ward Bond passed away at the age of 57 due to a massive heart attack. The sudden departure of this esteemed actor left a void in Hollywood, and fans mourned the loss of a talent whose influence extended far beyond the silver screen. Blank. Underscore. Blank. Robert Horton, Flint McCullough. On July 29, 1924, in Los Angeles, California, Robert Horton graced the world with his presence. As Flint McCullough in Wagon Train, Horton rode into the hearts of viewers with a charm that made him the quintessential cowboy of the era. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Robert Horton is still with us, aged 98, a living testament to the enduring spirit of the Old West. Career and most successful roles. Before the wagon wheels rolled onto the small screen, Horton's acting journey saw him in various film and television roles. Yet, it was his time as Flint McCullough that catapulted him to stardom. His rugged good looks and charisma made him a heartthrob and a symbol of the American cowboy. Post, wagon train, Horton's career continued with various television appearances and stage performances. His versatility as an actor allowed him to seamlessly transition between genres. Most prestigious awards. While major awards may not have adorned Robert Horton's mantle, his contribution to the popularity of Wagon Train and the Western genre secured him a special place in the hearts of fans. Reason for death. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Robert Horton is still alive. For the most current information, I recommend checking the latest sources. Blank. Underscore. Blank. Frank McGrath. Charlie Wooster. Born on February 2, 1903, in Mount City, Missouri, Frank McGrath brought laughter to the plains of the Old West. As Charlie Wooster in Wagon Train, McGrath's endearing performance made him a beloved figure, the heart and soul of the wagon train. On May 13, 1967, at the age of 64, Frank McGrath left this world. His legacy, however, remained alive through the humor and warmth he infused into the character of Charlie Wooster career and most successful roles. Before the wagon train set out on its journey, McGrath had already established himself as a character actor. However, it was his role as Charlie that defined his career. 
The whimsical cook's assistant brought comic relief and a touch of humanity to the often difficult journey. Post Wagon Train, McGrath continued to work in television, making appearances in various shows. His infectious laughter and joyful spirit endeared him to audiences wherever he went. Most prestigious awards. While major awards may not have adorned Frank McGrath, his true recognition came from the smiles and laughter of fans. Charlie Wooster became a character etched in the memories of those who followed the wagon train's adventures. Reason for death. On May 13, 1967, Frank McGrath passed away at the age of 64 due to a heart attack. The world mourned the loss of a performer whose comedic timing and genuine warmth had touched the hearts of audiences for years. Terry Wilson, Bill Hawks. Born on September 3, 1923, in Huntington Park, California, Terry Wilson emerged into the world with a spirit as resilient as the pioneers he portrayed. As Bill Hawks in Wagon Train, Wilson became the unsung hero of the wagon train, a pillar of strength and a symbol of unwavering loyalty. Terry Wilson rode alongside the wagon train until his passing on March 30, 1999, at the age of 75. His legacy endures through the dusty trails and vast landscapes of the Old West. Career and most successful roles. Before the first wagon rolled onto the set, Wilson had already left his mark in Hollywood. His journey in the entertainment industry began as a stuntman, showcasing his physical prowess. However, it was his role as Bill Hawks that defined his career. The rugged, dependable trailhand became a character beloved for his quiet strength and integrity. Post Wagon Train, Wilson continued his career with various television appearances. His versatility as an actor allowed him to seamlessly transition between roles, but Bill Hawks remained a character etched in the hearts of fans. Most prestigious awards. While major awards may not have graced Terry Wilson, his true recognition came from the authenticity he brought to the character of Bill Hawks. The admiration and respect of viewers stand as a testament to his contribution to the success of Wagon Train. Reason for death. On March 30, 1999, at the age of 75, Terry Wilson passed away due to complications from a stroke. The curtain closed on a life marked by a commitment to his craft, leaving behind memories of a man who embodied the spirit of the Old West. Blank underscore, blank. John McIntyre, Chris Hale. Born on June 27, 1907, in Spokane, Washington, John McIntyre entered the world with the gravitas that would define his illustrious career. As Chris Hale in, Wagon Train, McIntyre brought wisdom and authority to the wagon master's role. John McIntyre continued his journey until January 30, 1991, when he left this world at the age of 83. His legacy remains woven into the fabric of the stories he told on screen. Career and most successful roles. Before, Wagon Train, McIntyre's career spanned decades, encompassing film, theater, and television. His deep, resonant voice and commanding presence made him a sought-after character actor. However, it was his portrayal of Chris Hale that showcased his ability to lead with strength and compassion. Post, Wagon Train, McIntyre continued to grace the screen with roles in popular television shows and films. His versatility allowed him to seamlessly transition between genres, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. Most prestigious awards. John McIntyre's contributions to the world of entertainment earned him respect, but major awards remained elusive. His true accolades lay in the appreciation of fellow actors, directors, and the countless fans who admired his work. Reason for death. On January 30, 1991, at the age of 83, John McIntyre passed away due to emphysema. The world bid farewell to a consummate actor whose voice had resonated through the narratives of countless tales, and the Old West lost one of its most revered storytellers. Blank. Underscore. Blank. Robert Fuller. Cooper Smith. Born on July 29, 1933, in Troy, New York. Robert Fuller burst onto the scene with the charisma and charm that would define his career. As Cooper Smith in the later seasons of, Wagon Train, Fuller brought a new energy to the trail, captivating audiences with his roguish appeal. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Robert Fuller is still with us, aged 89, continuing to leave an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Career and most successful roles. Before joining the wagon train, Fuller had already made a name for himself in Hollywood. His journey began with roles in popular westerns and television shows.
However, it was his time as Cooper Smith that showcased his versatility as an actor. The charming troubleshooter added a fresh dynamic to the series. Post, Wagon Train, Fuller continued his successful career with roles in various television shows, including the iconic, Emergency. His enduring popularity stems from his ability to connect with audiences across different genres. Most prestigious awards. While major awards may not have adorned Robert Fuller's mantle, his enduring popularity and the affection of fans stand as his most cherished recognition. The characters he portrayed, including Cooper Smith, remain beloved in the hearts of those who followed his career. Reason for death. As of my last knowledge update in January 2023, Robert Fuller is still alive. For the most current information, I recommend checking the latest sources. And there you have it, the stories of the unsung heroes and trailblazers of Wagon Train. From the quiet strength of Bill Hawks to the wisdom of Chris Hale and the roguish charm of Cooper Smith, each actor left an indelible mark on the wagon trails of our memories. But this journey doesn't end here. We want to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on Wagon Train? Which actor's story resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts, memories, and favorite moments in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this nostalgic ride through the Old West, subscribe for more journeys down memory lane, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an episode. And hey, if you've got friends who love westerns or wagon train, share this video with them. Let's gather, round the digital campfire and keep the spirit of the Old West alive.